Good morning, everyone. Let's continue to introduce the third part of local motor system, the myology. Before we introduce the new part, let's review for the last class, the joints of limbs. And then we introduced the four important joints. We only review for these four important joints. The others review by ourselves. The shoulder joint and the hip joint. The, the two joints belong to the ball and the socket joint because the characteristic of them almost the same. So I put them together and uh, compare each other's what's the ball and what's the socket. And then the shoulder joint, the here, glenoid cavity is the ball. Oh, sorry. The glenoid cavity is the socket. And then the humor head is the ball. For the hip joint, the femur head is the ball, and the acetabulum is the socket. The first one, let's say, for the shoulder joint, the ball large, the socket shallow. For the hip joint, the ball is large, the fossil is deep. The second characteristic, they all have the labrum the glenoid labrum and the acetabular labrum. They have the same function, the dependent the fossil. The third one compare the capsule. Uh, uh, the structure fit for its function. The upper limb, free movement. The lower limb, bear the weight. So for the upper limb, thin and loose. For the lower limb, the strong and the dense. And then let's see. So it's strong or thin. They all have the structure of strength it, like the shoulder joint, the cortical humor ligament, and the glenohumeral ligament, the posterior surface. And then for the hip joint, including the iliofemoral ligament, pubo femoral ligament, and the ischial femoral ligament. We also can use another method to remember it. The hip bone consists of the three parts, the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. From these three parts to the femur. So it's the iliofemur, ischiofemur, and the pubofemur ligament, the three. And then within the capsule. For the shoulder joint, one tendon. For the hip joint, the two ligament. And then the movement of them is all the same. Flexion, extension, uh, abduction, adduction, rotation, and circumduction. I wish everyone you can do this action according to the picture or the or according to the describe of our textbook. And then the elbow joint, the component joint formed by the three bones. And then it's divided the three joint. The humor, the humor honor joint is here, the chocolate and the chocolate notch. The humor reader joint, the capitulum and the fossil of the head. And then proximal reader honor joint, this one is the uh, notch of the honor. And this one, the articular circumference. And then these three joint enclosed by one capsule. And then the capsule is thin and loose anterior posteriorly. The, the two side is strengthened by the collateral ligament, the radial and other collateral ligament. For the annular ligament, let's say I join the structures like here, the articular circumference of the radial. And this one is honor. And then let's say the annular ligament like this one. And then surround it. This is annular ligament. Here, articular circumference. But if the baby is so younger, like the four to seven years old, the annular ligament is developed. But the radial head is on the progress of the development. So when the baby received the, uh, the power of the poor, and then maybe 
the head is dislocation from the annular ligament. This is named subluxation. At the time, the baby feel pain and start cry. If you ask the, uh, he or she, ask the he, him or her to touch the ear of the same side, the headmaster finish this action. You can, according to this characteristic, you can think about, oh, maybe it's a subluxation of the uh, upper joint. And then the moment is the flexion and the extension. The, for the knee joint, it's also another component joint is formed by the three bones, the femur, the patellar, and the tibia. And then uh, we can compare the characteristic uh, of the knee joint with the accessory structure of the synovial joint. Uh, like the ligament, the toucan, the articular disc and the labor, the synovial fold and the synovial booster. Let's view according to this to remember the characteristic of the knee joint, like the extra capsular ligament. Let's see one, two, three. And this one in part, in fact, as a part of the tendon of the quadriceps femoris. And then the intracapsular ligament, the, post, the anterior and the posterior cruciate ligament, as here. The posterior, this one is the anterior cruciate ligament. And then the, the articular disc, uh, only partly divided the, the articular cavity into two parts, the main curves. And then the synovial fold, let's see here the synovial fold, and the synovial booster, synovial booster here. And then the action is of the moment, the flexion and the extension. Remember, when the knee joint in this uh, flexion, our leg can do the middle rotation and the leader rotation. This one, the scale is only a little bit of scale. You can try to do this action. What's the middle rotation? What's the leader rotation? And then let's continue to introduce the myology, the new part. The general description in our body contain the three kinds of the muscles, skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and the cardiac muscle. And then these three kinds of the muscle participate half of our body's weight weight the other muscle as an organ. And then the muscles uh, can be divided into two parts, the voluntary and the involuntary muscle. If controlled by the somatic nervous system, it's named the voluntary muscle. If innervated by the anatomic nervous system, it's named the uh, involuntary muscle. Like the skeletal muscle is the voluntary muscle. Under the microscope, we can find the strap, this all the strap, and this one, the nuclear. The nucleus, uh, one series contain the lots of the nuclei and the distributed the surrounding part of the, uh, the series. And then the smooth muscle is the involuntary muscle, else uh, the visceral muscle, the muscle there like the piliform shape. And then the cardiac muscle is like a smooth muscle, it's the involuntary muscle. And then under the microscope, it have the stripe, so it's striated, it's like the cigarette muscle. It's from the wall of the heart. And then let's see the myology of the cigarette muscle. This chapter will only focus on the cigarette muscle. Each cell is so longer and then it sometimes we name it as the muscle fibers. One fiber is wrapped by the connective tissue is named endomedium. Uh, one tract of the fiber uh, uh, enveloped by the connective tissue from the pyrimedium. The whole muscle is from the epimedium, like here. And then this one, let's see, muscle fiber. And then surround it, let's say this structure, one, 
is the Indo medium, and then the another one like here, the Indo medium, and then the tract or the bundle, like, oh sorry, this one, the paramedium or this one, let's say here, the whole muscle as the epimedium, and then the shape and the structure of the muscle. According to its shape, it consists of the four kinds, the long, short, flat, and irregular. No, the irregular as the boom. The, uh, it's like the sphincter. And the first, let's say, the lung muscles. The lung muscle, let's say, this is a typical lung muscle. The other, these three, like the feather, and this is named by pinnate muscle. This half of the feather, the unipinnate muscle. This lots of the feather, the multipinnate muscle. And then this one is the short muscle, let's see, here, or here, the short muscle. And this is the flat muscle, or this plate muscle. And this one is the long muscle. And then this one, like the sphincter, is orbicular muscles. This is the lung muscle. And then commonly the muscle contains the one belly and the two end. The two end is from the tendon. If the tendon it becomes the so thin and broad like the flat muscle, and this is named aponeurosis. Aponeurosis. And commonly we find the muscle distributed in our abdominal wall. This aponeurosis. And then the muscles origin insertion and action. And then let's say the fixed end is we name it origin. The moment end we name it insertion. And then when the muscle contract, make the muscle become the short. And then uh, finish the, this action, make this boom ascending. And then finish this action like this as the elbow joint, make our elbow joint flexion. And then the muscles around one joint, commonly, if we can divide the four kind the muscles. One is want to finish the action, like we want to make our forearm pronation. The pronator terese, this one we can find as the uh, agonist or the prime mover. And then the pronator quadratum can help it and cover this uh, finish this action. So this muscle we can name it as the synergist. And then the subnators, subnator prevent uh, the pronation. So this one is antagonist. When finish the, uh, uh, the pronator, and then the subnator gradually is fly, relax, relax, and then make our forearm the pronation. And then the fixator, the other muscles fix the the uh, the humor. This one is named the fixator. And then the nomenclature of the muscles according to its shape, location, and uh, the function, like this one, the uh, indicated the shape of the rhomboiders, this one, and then the trapezius, like this one, and then the gracilis and this one, according to the location, the tibialis posterior. And then the numbers of the height, let's say, the one, two, so this one is named the biside. One, two, three, it's named the triceps. Uh, one, two, three, four, is named the quadriceps. And then uh, depending on their action, like make the scapular ascending is named the levator scapulae. And then this one make the finger extension, extension digitum. And then the action and the shape, like see, like the square, the pronator quadrators, or the pronator teres, like this one. Action and the location. At the superficial, this one is deep. 
so the spectral digital performers and the superficialists. And then uh, the first part we finished and answer the question, please describe the types of muscle according to the shape. I wish you can give me the answer in time.